Hey, what's up guys? Tyrant back with another video. One thing I've noticed about the Street Fighter 6 trailers is that they've really made the characters stand out a lot more than in previous versions. Zangief has always been a wrestler with wrestling moves, but this time they did a great job of really animating that well and adding those little nuances that maybe only wrestling fans will notice. So as a wrestler myself, I feel like I wanted to make a video explaining what each move is called and showing it being used in an actual wrestling match. Alright, let's do it. The first move we see is a headbutt, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, next up is an atomic drop, which targets the tailbone and the spine. Um, mostly used in old school wrestling, you don't see it that much these days. Zangief then no-sells two clotheslines and strikes back with his double spinning lariat, which you probably will never see in a real wrestling match. I think the closest would be this spot that Terry Funk used to do with a ladder, where he would just put it on his head and spin around and just take everybody out. <laughs> up next are these chops, which I think is a target combo, and of course, these are most famously used by none other than Ric Flair. Woo! By God, he's stomping a mud hole in his ass. Up next is a body slam, which is a very basic wrestling move. Um, I think the most famous example of this would obviously be Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. This elbow drop is beautiful. It reminds me of The Rock's People's Elbow, or maybe Keiji Muto's Flashing Elbow. Zangief's drive impact looks like a double chop to the neck, um, and he follows it up with a big pile driver. Uh, I, <laughs> of course, you're not going to see this. Uh, in, in a real match, but it reminds me kind of like of Rhinos or maybe like Cactus Jack or something like that. So Zangief's jump down light kick, I believe, is a double knee drop, also known as a Meteora. Here we have a double rolling German suplex, obviously extremely exaggerated in this game. This big drop kick from Zangief gets a wall splat and he follows it up with a headbutt into his double lariat. He still has his kick counter move from SF5, which he follows up with a dragon screw leg whip, which is usually used to take down your opponent and go into some kind of a hold. So here we have a jump headbutt into a Borscht Dynamite, which is just a spinning tombstone pile driver. Of course, this is the Undertaker's finisher. The spinning version has been used by Just Incredible in ECW as a finisher, and in recent years, Okada used it also. Not sure if this is Zangief's level 1 or 2 super here, but regardless, it leads into the Jackhammer, which of course was Goldberg's finisher in WCW. Um, this guy went on a crazy winning streak with this move and hit it on pretty much everybody. Alright, the critical art appears to be Zangief clotheslines him down, gives him a kick to the gut, and then scoops him up for the Atomic Buster, which is... You're gonna die if this ever happens, basically. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this little comparison video, something very different today, but I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share with a friend who you think might like it. Take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video.